you can talk about Junior Johnson. Uh, uh, sure. So Daytona Beach held the first actual like race in 1948. Okay. Charlotte held the actual first sanctioned stock car race. Uh, yep, Daytona. Oh, 1949. Daytona yeah. used to be a beach race. Yep. Beach race. You're right. They roast, actually raced on the fucking sand. Oh, that's the dirt. cool. Mm-hmm. And you see, actually, I think there's actually video clips of black and white where you actually see mm-hmm. them the racing. Cars. I think I've actually seen a couple of those. I mean, it's been a while. But. They are trying um, to get that back on the beach. It'd be interesting. Just like for uh, like and throwback. That's, and that's why roasters, they didn't like roasters because they couldn't get the traction. They were too heavy. Yeah, paddle the tires. <laughs> <laughs> you can't really fucking drive in sand. Um, <laughs> But no, I was just going along with you. You heard me about Junior Johnson, right? Mm-hmm. Like he ran since he was like fourteen years old, went to prison for it. <laughs> he did. You know who pardoned him? Ronald Reagan. Ronald Reagan. <laughs> I will say that most of those NASCAR drivers back in the day were staunch racist, huge racist. Yes. Mm. I mean, this is this is yeah. the sport of the South. It's a manly man sport. So I just. I want to say that. I don't know why. <laughs> Bunch of guys going left. Yep. I mean, that's really all I was saying. You know, he was like uh, one of the fathers of NASCAR, but mm-hmm. like. He was arrested for having illegal whiskey still, right? Yeah. That's why, that's why he went to jail, right? Yeah. Like he ran it. His whole family ran it. His family was part of the biggest moonshine bust mm-hmm. in like United States history. Oh. I wonder which. I wonder which one of the original bootleggers actually made it to become a race car driver. Junior Johnson. Yeah. Made it in, and so he made it into the NASCAR series. He's he's, he's like in the Hall of Fame. Yeah, he's in the Hall of Fame. How old was he when he was running liquor as a bootlegger, I wonder? He he, He he did bootlegging when he was 14. Yeah. And then he raced all the way into the 60s for NASCAR. Yeah. Yeah. Wow, man. Yeah, he's like, that's a long... Long way. Yeah, that's how he got that dynasty started. Mm-hmm. So he was the only boot, bootlegger to continue. There were a couple other ones. I, I remember their names in the article I was looking through, but there's like, there's like maybe 10, there's a handful of the original NASCAR drivers that yeah. were bootleggers. Of actual bootleggers yeah. versus just people that were. But car, then but then you have drivers. people like since you have the, um, so the first drivers were bootleggers, but then you had like mechanics and stuff they could drive too, and then they started mm-hmm. getting into it. Like, because he like, actually did really good uh, driving against cops. Like, he did like a U turn and all sorts. Yeah, of... like he actually knew how to drive. Like, yeah. He learned to drive. Like, yeah, he, he invented drifting. You drifting, know, sorry, you know that guy killed people too. Oh yeah, had to ran over some cops probably. Just Try fucking someone smashed them. Or yeah. he had some good Samaritans like, hey buddy. Are you you bootlegging alcohol over there? And he's like, I'm Junior Johnson. Leave me alone. I'll give you some free booze. And he's like, all right, that's illegal. I'm going to call old Brian over here to come on down here and put you in the paddy wagon. So, <laughs> <little> pa- <laughs> put you over there on the paddy wagon. He's like, I, I got to get I got to get a Daytona. Leave me alone right now, man. So then they I chase, him, they the chase him in the car. He'd somehow pull a 180. And but while he's doing it, trick. he kicks the door open, leans out backwards. And just does the Bruce Willis from uh, that one movie. Just bah, 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 bah. fuck you, old Brian. Fuck you, motherfucker. Bah, 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 bah. He shot 13 rounds from a 10 round gun. <laughs> and then did a sit up, one arm and pulled himself back into the car, kicked the door off, and just kept going. Rock style. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Well, we know Jimmy. What's his fucking name? Junior Johnson. Junior, like, Junior Johnson. I'm saying Jimmy Johnson. <laughs> he was never caught by police. We, Hey, Junior we Johnson. did talk about a conspiracy. We started it ourselves. That Jimmy Johnson is actually immortal. Yeah. And he's... What? You You might be able to find him in a picture from the past as his young uh, self. Like Wonder Woman? Yes. But Jimmy Johnson? That's John Johnson. Junior. Johnson, Jimmy John Johnson. Jr., Jimmy Johnson. Then he changed his name. <laughs> then he changed his name to Jimmy Johnson. Junior Johnson with the Junior Johnson. He kept getting older, and his wives kept get dying. Well, Junior Johnson yeah. died at eight. So he was. A, he's so Jimmy Johnson's Elvin, dark Elvin, or is he just immortal? And that's just something that we. Unless he showed Epstein the jars of fetuses and then injected them with the zygotes and the skin cures. I don't think Jimmy Johnson would have qualified for that. Okay, how do you know? So it's a gut feeling. I just I do want to believe that How do you Junior, win all them races? Junior Johnson ran he over a few police tried. officers, killed a few people, and then was a national celebrity in the NASCAR circuit. Mm-hmm. I want to believe that. I, I don't. So. I don't like NASCAR because it was the downfall of horse racing. 
So you're a fan of horse racing? <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> so you're she you're an advocate you. for like well, this this horse is amazing today. <laughs> Oh, he's off a second or two. Fucking put a bullet through his head. Uh, Turn him into hard, glue. Hardcore. Now, would you shoot? <laughs> would you shoot the horse in the head, or would you shoot off his leg first? Seriously, I don't know. You would blow his leg off. You don't shoot him in the head. You just like stab him in the heart. I'm pretty sure all you got to do is take the shotgun and just hit the leg really hard. You don't need to actually like waste a round on the leg. I was just saying, shoot off all four legs. <laughs> where at the shoulder like right at where it connects to the torso uh, I'll, I'll do the coping the... method where you do the, the kneecap and then the shoulder so you want the horse but you lo- gotta pull you gotta de-glove the one of so them so you want the horse laying on its side with nubs doing like yeah. Yeah. It's the, it's the, uh, this is offensive <laughs> this is probably the most offensive thing we've ever talked about killing a horse we gotta stop it's the Bryant method I, I just thought we'd be fine you can talk about killing animals though it's the KB we system got, this would where this were that's this what, would be where people would that, draw but that's the what line. they did back in 1925 this? Yeah. okay yeah. okay 21 episodes in and killing a horse that's, that's how where it we're is animals the line. tell me if I'm wrong not animals pic- not, trump not bu- anything <laughs> not yeah but we're talking about what they did in 1925 Five. I saw a story where a guy got a shotgun, twelve gauge, shot all four legs off at kneecaps, and, for, it looked, and then trying to make him a little was miniature it, pony. Was like, it? No. <laughs> no. I thought you were going to tell us it was like he was killing the rival horse. This is not my. No, he shot pony. the kneecaps off, cauterized. This them. man was sadistic. So you know those little Shetland ponies. Wait, 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 it wait, looked so, like that with a giant head. This Did, will only be just. Just temporary there, Did baby. Did he stitch, he stitch both <laughs> back onto the nub? Buttercup, this will only hurt for a second. He just, he just grabbed the fucking cauterized nub and just hammered in the, the horseshoe. I will say. Oh. So it's flopping. So, and it's like, so that nay. Horse is trying, <laughs> you were like, no, it wasn't neighing. It was screaming. Have you ever heard a horse scream? They say it's terrifying. And that's when he it's cut his like, voice box out. <laughs> <laughs> so, so you imagine a little little giant horse with four little legs kicking around? Yeah, that's terrifying. <laughs> so, see, I made twenty a, bucks off of him. See, you're saying that I'm imagining something terrible. Like the horse is laying on the ground; it's got terrible infections <laughs> at this point. It's, it's just like, going like <sighs> there's flies and maggots everywhere. Yeah, it's, it's like, like why is he horse. still alive? How's the horse still alive at this point? Yeah. Oh, you're saying <laughs> I, that's interesting. Kind of like the movie Seven. Yeah, with Brad Pitt. Well, the, where guys, the guys kept the alive. It was a glutton horse. Yeah, if you've kept the horse alive. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, or And you kept feeding him. Yeah. Jesus. Anyway. And so, it was a female horse, too. <laughs> it kept having babies. I thought you were either going to tell us this was a rival horse or someone had to kill their horse for meat in the 20s. It was a rival horse. Okay. Yeah. So I yeah. think I've just discovered <laughs> the whole idea of making it a smaller horse. Okay. He said it was a female horse. He... he you know what I'm saying? He didn't need a ladder anymore. <laughs> oh, this, no bucket required. Yeah. It was easy access. <laughs> How did they make... I, I think <laughs> get this topic. we are branching you off what am I, I, I was just trying to make a sea biscuit joke <laughs> I was going to ask when did the Dust Bowl happen 30s uh, I think. Yeah. it was it was right there around like, the it, depression yeah, it's, yeah same time period. It was all, okay so when when did the depression end uh, that was uh, after World War 2 or during the 40s it was only a 30, 13 year period. It was was it before? It was before because I think um, FDR got us out of the depression and it led yeah. to World oh II. yeah because FDR uh, FDR overturned the prohibition bill uh, to get alcohol sales going, which created jobs and gave the government more money. So we started climbing out of it. Then we went to World War Two. Some socialites say FDR is the reason we're in the pickle we are now. Socialites, I like pickles. I like Some pickles. say <laughs> you like ABC vegetable soup too. FDR was actually going to go further, but he, he was, died. Not, yeah. He would have served five terms. Yeah, he was about to start some more progressive shit. Mm-hmm. Who was the president during the the heaviest time of the prohibition? Those were the uh, those Coolidge and Hoover, right? Those were the uh, what are they called? The, they made a fucking damn. All after those that three guy. or four presidents. Uh, yeah, they Wilson. Were like several times they were like the latest fear of presidents. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, Coolidge, Hoover, get stuck in a bathtub. <laughs> get a dam named after you. Just goddamn him. <laughs> the Hoover Dam. See? <laughs> they were like useless presidents. They did nothing. <laughs> They're like. That's why we ended up getting in a depression. Yeah. Everybody was just depressed. It's like having a bunch of Joe Biden's eight years in a row. He's going to last eight years in a row. Man, he's going to be two years in a row, and then it's going to be President Clinton. Joe Biden has. <laughs> 
if you if you're wealthy, you can have your own island. Like that's that's who's our pre- that's who becomes yeah. president. I guarantee you, but he if he gets elected, he'll forget that he even ran for president. I'm sorry, I, for, I, I I'm just being yeah. insensitive. It's going to be a black woman. Okay, uh, Condoleezza. Sure. No, as the vice president, future president. Kind of Don't use the pizza. The guy that ruined school lunches. Pizzagate. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. The only Pizzagate I know is our cafeteria lady trying to get Alex. Good she boy, follows, she follows good boy, gonna like this pizza today. <laughs> <laughs> I sharpen these teeth down, hoping to nib on you one day. I got a special piece of pizza set right up beside you, right here for you, Alex. There you go, boy. I don't brush my teeth just in case you can get all the smells. Oh, this is a good piece of pizza. This is the best one we have. Call me Mr. Fist Teeth. Yeah. Think if she had the ideologically i ideology that people have today, where it's like I identify as a fourteen year old just like you. Yeah, to she them, identified as the same age Alex was every year. Well, age is just a number to them. He gets older, I get older. <laughs> <laughs> he gets older, he gets a little closer but, um, to me. Now she lives in his ever. crawl space. Yeah. yeah, you don't even know it. It was like the girl from X Files. Or like that now. guy that lived in the basement of the family's in the family's basement. So she lives in Alex's him. crawl space. Yeah, she comes out and she's like yeah, planning to take out his wife. Boy, See now the now you serve her pizza mm-hmm. to keep her going. Oh, I just I just take a piece of pizza and I just foot stomp it through the uh, air vent. <laughs> <laughs> you, I wonder how she's doing. You think she's still she's, alive? She died. <clears throat> did she? Yeah. Okay. It's all an obituary. Rip in peace. You did. This is bitching. <laughs> bitching. All right, so. <sighs> Rip in peace. I think we've, well, I think we've covered the Pretty prohibition fairly well. That's all the facts of prohibition. <laughs> all of them? <laughs> That's all, all the ones, ones that interest us. Yeah. Well, uh, an interesting end, oh, yeah. the interesting end of prohibition, uh, December 5th, 1933 was the end. Uh, police nationwide hoped that underground crime would go with it, but it did not. Uh, as one historian put it, America had some serious cleaning up to do. So the Bureau of Prisons looked no further than San Francisco Bay to a Civil War era army prison on a small island called. That's right, you guessed it, Alcatraz. Okay. The Rock. No, just, that, that sounds bad, but can you imagine being stuck on there during the Civil War? Ooh, that'd be worse. At least you're not in jail, though, but why were they. Well, why that was were they the, out the there on the Civil War? <laughs> right? Why were they off the like? You know, well, it was San probably Francisco. a fortress. Was it not a fortress? Okay, yeah, the Civil War did not bring battles to California. Yeah, who built it? Well, they probably <laughs> had it as a preliminary fortress. <laughs> to... Oh, Johnny Bigger there, nineteen forty nine. It was a. Uh, would California be northern placement. or southern? So- southern, southern. <laughs> California was... Because they're right. north and south of the Mason-Dixon line. Oh, they were, line. Fight, oh, they were the Ma- fighting the Mexicans. Here's the thing. The Mason-Dixon line shuts off before you get to California. Does it? It, it shuts off before you get to Texas. Yeah, it's like it's like this line, and it, then everything else is just like, we're trying to survive out here. It's three-quarters of America. <laughs> <laughs> we're trying to survive that was, That's here. where uh, mass <laughs> vigilante... Oh, they were up. too busy killing each other over gold. True. And somehow yeah. there's a Civil War fort. Yeah. True. Which you can see that happen in the Ballad of... Richard Suggs on Netflix. Oh, okay. Yeah. I watched part of that. It's <laughs> so the uh the Is prison the, Yeah, I see the hanging. The prison first opened uh as a federal penitentiary in nineteen thirty four. That was right at the end of Prohibition. Uh Alcatraz represented the end of the line for many ruthless criminals uh spawned from the Prohibition era. It was here that Chicago crown boss Al Capone served four years before dying of syphilis in a Baltimore hospital. And uh, where the notorious bootlegger George Machine Gun Kelly mm. spent the last 21 years of his life deemed, uh, he spent the last 21 years of his life. Then the prison shut down in 1963 and from... uh, is a tourist attraction. You say bootlegger or bootlicker? Bootlegger. I'm okay. just wondering how Capone winded up in uh, Alcatraz. From Chicago. To Baltimore. To Baltimore. <laughs> I guess a better hospital. I don't know. I will say there was probably some bootlickers in prison at Alcatraz. I'm sure. Lick I'm the sure. boots. There just weren't many strong swimmers. That's a... Uh, yeah. Are you talking about the original Jew people? Hmm. No. And you He's know He's talking I, about like one, only one person survived swimming out of Alcatraz. Yeah, yeah. They're used to desert climate. So. Theoretically. Clint Eastwood survived it. It's hypothesized. He escaped from it. Yeah. So. 
Nicholas Cage shot down a rocket from Alcatraz. <laughs> hey, Sean Connery was in there, yeah. Yeah, there's a lot of... Uh, oh, Zach Baggins went to Alcatraz. Yeah, he did. He did. He had his mask on, didn't he? Um, Zach Baggins went to Tiger World. Did he go to Tiger World? Did he get put on hiatus? Wait, I thought Tiger they- World... 